Hi everybody, today is Thursday, April 8th, and I am here with our Speak Out Daily Exercises. If you have been diagnosed with Parkinson's and have noticed a change in your speech or swallowing, then this is the program for you. My name is Julie Drynan. I'm a speech language pathologist local to Dallas, Texas, and Speak Out was developed by Parkinson Voice Project specifically for individuals with Parkinson's. It focuses on projecting your voice and speaking with purpose and confidence. And I am ready to dive in with everyone today. Let's go ahead and start with a sip of water. Staying hydrated is going to be a very important part of this program as we work our muscles. So we have six exercises we're going to be completing today. The first being our warm up exercise. You'll see here the may, me, my, mo, mu. We are going to work to project this outwards. Think about facing a crowd and wanting to reach the cross the crowd to the very back row of it. We're not shouting, we're wanting to project across the room. Let's go ahead and get started. In three, two, one. May, me, my, mo, mu. Notice I am projecting across the room and exaggerating every sound. Let's do that again. May, me, my, mo. If you're needing to take a breath in between these sounds, that is absolutely okay. Just make sure you pick up again to speak with intent, exaggerate, and project where you left off. Let's go again. May, me, my, mo, mu. We want to finish as strong as we start. We're going to be practicing these six exercises, which are meant to be practiced every single day. Daily practice is a paramount part of this program for individuals with Parkinson's. We've got two more times through the warm up here. I'm going to demonstrate if you need to pause mid exercise in order to take a breath. May, me, my. Mo, mu. Notice I paused in between, but still finished off with just as much purpose and intent as I started. Last time through here, I'm going to do the first two sounds and let you all complete it, projecting just as much as if I were practicing with you. Let's get going. May, me. How did it go? All right, we are going to move on to our next exercise, but let's pause for a sip of water. Even when you swallow, you want to swallow with intent. We are working those muscles. The more effortful you are with your swallow, the more you are working those muscles. Our next exercise is called the ah exercise. We are going to be holding this ah out for about 10 seconds, making sure our mouths are open nice and wide to project that sound. We are working to be exaggerated here. Ready? Let's go. Uh, I'm pointing to my chin to let you know that that's how we want our mouths to look, open nice and wide. You don't need to worry about resting your fingers on your chin. Let's go ahead again. We're aiming for 10 seconds, but if you don't reach that or feel strained, just stop and start again. You never want to strain those vocal cords, only work them in a healthy way. All right, here we go. Ah. Uh... 
great. This can take a lot of effort and you might feel tired after your practice session today, but it is worth it to know that you can, this is the tool that you need to communicate with your friends and family with intent. We've got three more ahs. Ready? Uh... Let's pause for a sip of water. And again, we are exaggerating this ah. Uh, exaggerating the movements of our mouth is important for individuals with Parkinson's, those movements often become smaller and it's hard for those listening to us to understand. It gives a cue when we exaggerate and open our mouths. Ready? Ah. Uh... And last time through, Ah. Uh... Great job, everybody. Let's take another sip of water. This next exercise is called the glide exercise. My veterans are always trying to convince me we already completed the glides because it is not their favorite, but it is important for continuing to work on that tone and that exaggeration. We are aiming to Glide up the scale and glide back down. We are starting nice and slow so that we can hit all of those notes. Keeping our mouth just as wide as we did for that ah exercise. Here's the first time through. Ready? We're going to glide. Ah. Uh... Making sure you pause in between to catch your breath and we'll come back down. Uh, how'd that feel? It takes some getting used to to glide up and down that scale, but I know everybody can get there. Let's start again, starting nice and slow projecting outwards into that crowd to that last row of an auditorium. Ready? Uh... Uh... How'd that feel? Everything we do is about exaggerating, speaking out and across a large space. You never want to shout. Next glide. Uh... I'm going to pause for a sip of water and encourage you all to do the same. We've got two more glides. If you're starting to feel strained or raspy, it means you are not getting enough good breath to hold out your glide. Make sure you're taking that nice deep breath before you start and before you come back down. Ready? We'll take a good breath. Ah. Uh, breathe. Ah. Uh, we have almost made it through. One more glide here. All together. Uh, uh, we always 
always want to close our mouth and breathe in between. I think I forgot on that last one. We'll take another sip of water. We have already completed three of our exercises. The next up is the counting. This exercise is similar to our warm up. We want it to be smooth and projected across a football field. You want this to reach across with one number flowing into the next. Always make sure that you stop to pause and catch your breath where you see the stops. And I'm gonna reposition here so you can see me better. All right, here we are with the counting. We'll all count together. One, two, three, four, stop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, stop, thirteen, 14, 15, 16. How'd that first time go? It can get difficult towards the end when the numbers have multiple syllables to do them all on one breath. If you can at least get two or three on one breath, that is okay. We just don't want to have one number per breath in a disconnected manner. I'll show you what I mean right now with that last line. We can do 13, 14, 15, 16. You can pause where you need to. Never feel like you're pushing out or straining. Let's take a sip of water. You'll be nice and hydrated by the end of your speak out lessons. And we'll count again from the beginning. Think about projecting outwards and speaking out to a large crowd. You want to go up and over an invisible net that is in front of you, projecting outwards. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Once again, I wanted to demonstrate you can pause to breathe when you need to at the end, especially. We've got one more time through for the counting. Reach that last member of the crowd in the audience. Ready? All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Notice we always finish just as strong as when we start, seeing every exercise through to the end. Before we move on to our reading, let's go ahead and take another sip of water. For the reading today, I wanted to share with everybody the principles of being an employee at the VA. We have I care values for how we care for our veterans and their families, and we are held to these standards in their care. So I care 
is an acronym that stands for five different words that represent how we work with our veterans. And I'm going to have you all read them with me with intent. We want to exaggerate this even more than we would in conversation. So the first value is integrity. That's what the I stands for. Say that with me and project it with intent. Integrity. Let's say that again. Integrity. We want to act with high moral principle. Again, you're reading along with me. We'll read that again. Projecting across that room. Act with high moral principle. You, we need to adhere to the highest professional standards, maintain the trust and confidence of all with how I engage. I'm reading backwards here on my screen, so if I get the word wrong, I apologize. Let's do that again. Our next, our value here is integrity. Say that with intent. Act with high moral principle. Adhere to the highest professional standards. Project that outwards. Maintain the trust and confidence of all with whom I engage. We are exaggerating each and every word we say so that we can be heard and we speak out. The C in I care stands for commitment. Let's project that out across the crowd. Commitment. Let's read together. Commitment means to work diligently to serve veterans and other beneficiaries. Be driven by an earnest belief in the VA's mission. Fulfill my individual responsibilities and organizational responsibilities. We are all held to these standards and not only are we here to serve our veterans, we are here to serve their families as well. Let's say that C for the I care value together. Commitment. Project. I keep these above my desk to remind me every day of the values of what it means to serve our veterans. The A in I care stands for advocacy. Project that with me. Advocacy. Say that with intent. Be truly veteran centric by identifying, fully considering, and appropriately advancing the interests of veterans and other beneficiaries. Let's read through that again. Take your time to speak each word with intent. Be mindful of when you read through this. Be truly veteran-centric by identifying, fully considering, and appropriately advancing the interests of veterans and other beneficiaries. Great job, everybody. We'll pause mid-values for some water. Okay, we've made it to the R in I care. The R in I care stands for respect. Let's say that with intent. Respect. These values are things we want others to hear. Let's read it together. Treat all those I serve with whom I work with dignity and respect. Show respect to earn it. Let's read that last sentence again because I feel like that applies to 
everything in life or everyone with whom we interact. Show respect to earn it. Make sure everybody can hear you. Show respect to earn it. And our final value for the I care values is excellence. The E stands for, let's project, excellence. Excellence, very good. Let's read this one together. I realize that it's a little longer. Strive for the highest quality and continuous improvement. Be thoughtful and decisive in leadership. Accountable for my actions. Willing to admit mistakes and rigorous in correcting them. I am the first to admit when I have made a mistake and it is my at my core to make sure that I can admit that, reflect on that, and correct them moving forward. We want to be excellent in our care. Let's read that through one more time, saying each and every single word with intent and speaking out to that crowd. Excellence. Strive for the highest quality and continuous improvement. Be thoughtful and decisive in leadership, accountable for my actions, willing to admit mistakes, and rigorous in correcting them. Excellent job, everybody. Those are the I care values. Say these words with me one more time. Integrity, commitment, advocacy, respect, excellence. Great job. Let's grab some water. The last part of our speak out lessons is always a cognitive exercise. This exercise is meant to make you think. I've got a few questions for you all related to your careers in the past or present and how you feel about your commitment to core values in the workplace. My first question with which I want you to answer with intent is what was your first job? Make sure the back of the crowd can hear you answer that one. Next question. What principles do you value most in the workplace? And final question, where did you have the best experience as an employee and why? Very good. These questions are meant to make you think on your toes. There is always a chat box underneath our sessions in which you are welcome to type responses or ask questions as we go along. We are going to end with some tongue twisters. These sounds are meant to work the muscles at the back of the tongue, which is important not only for your speech, but also for your swallowing. The back of the tongue is the driving force behind your swallow. Let's effortfully, with intent, take one more sip of water before we get through this. All right, this is just like the warm up, projecting outwards in a smooth and connected manner. 
Ready? Gula Ganga Ga Notice I'm exaggerating, opening my mouth to project those sounds. Let's go again. Gula Ganga Ga Kuka Mangu Ka. Great job, everybody. Let's go again. Gula Ganga Ga. Can they hear you at the back of the auditorium? Project outwards. Kuka Mangu Ka. We've got one more time and then we've completed our lesson for the day. All together, Gula Ganga Ga Kuka Mangu Ka. Excellent effort and participation today, everybody. I hope that you feel as though you put forth effort and that you were purposeful and mindful throughout the entire lesson. Not only do we want to speak with intent, we want to do everything with intent from day to day, whether that means our communication, our swallowing, our walking, any type of movement, we want to live with intent. I look forward to you all joining tomorrow for our practice session at 10 a.m. and hope everyone enjoys the rest of this beautiful spring day. I know here in Texas, it is sunny and warm and I'm looking forward for, to some time outside today. Thank you for everyone for joining. Goodbye.